I made this GitHub repository that lets you do small LLM research a lot faster on single GPU, on Google Colab, etc. I made this GitHub project that lets you do LLM research, small LLM research a lot faster on Google Colab, free GPU or any other GPU or hardware. URLs below. So this is uh, the research that I did. This is example research and I wrote some PDF file of the research. I'm showing some uh, graphs here. So the code will automatically write everything into this uh, research file and then you can use AI, for example, cursor or hero by Amazon or whatever agent to compile, read all of these files from your research and then compile a research paper and then you can go through this read and edit and do more research, etc. So you can, it's very easy to use this repository with like um, LLM uh, coding environment like cursor or uh, windsurf or whatever. Click the link below or link here Google Colab. So this will open my Google Colab notebook and you can see here, uh, these are URLs back to repository in the PDF paper that I just showed. Explanation is same as in README, so you can read this if you want. This is just like what happens in this specific research that I did. So we need to update data set. So in this research, if you want to modify this, you should first a little bit understand what's happening here. So I'm using this uh, tokenizer from Hugging Face small LLM, small LLM, and I'm using same data set, small LLM corpus, so it's actually very good. You can copy all of this code into um, AI and ask it to change it. So this is the setup, rotary, positional embeddings, multi-head attention. Uh, you can of course change all of this, but uh, this is what I did. I set it up here. I have a bunch of ablations, so I have like uh, sequence length, different sequence length, different learning rates, different batch sizes here. Here, small model, baseline, uh, high learning rate, low learning rate, batch, batch size, uh, short sequence length. And then I train for 2000 steps. So it's actually 15 minutes on Google Colab. Maybe it's not enough, but this is just an example, I would say. And then this cell here will just um, compile all of the data and then write down all of the data and draw graphs. And you can download all of those graphs. I don't know which one of those two though. I think this one. Just run all of the cells and uh, I've uh, written what each cell does. Yes, this one draws all of the graphs. You see here different ablations have different uh, graphs and stuff. So in my paper, for example, here, uh, I test a large batch size. So large batch size has lowest loss. So here lower is better. But that's happening simply because large batch size actually saw more data and use more compute because there is larger batches. So uh, you can use like AI and talk to AI and it help you understand all of this. So I actually wrote that down here that large batch size simply saw more data and use more compute and memory. But uh, correct learning rate is very important because uh, same computation, but just different learning rates. You see this one, the lowest, the worst one and uh, high learning rate. It's going to be this one. It's a lot better. So it's actually not high. I should maybe call this like a, a bit higher because this learning rate is, I think, um, 0 0.0003 or something like that. And this one is even smaller. So maybe this is a too small. This is a good learning rate, not necessarily high learning rate because high learning rate would also not work. But uh, here you can check uh, the ablations that I did. You can check all of this. Thank you for watching. Check the URLs below and you can check other my, my other videos on my channel if you are interested and see you next time.